Welcome to the Daily Prophetic Word for Wednesday, the 29th of May 2019. And the word given by the Holy Spirit is about I am cleansing my people. Please stay tuned up to the end because I will show you a timeline about the rapture for June to July or July to August. The Daily Prophetic Word I am cleansing my people. My people have made themselves dirty, with and in the world. I have come to cleanse my people from all bondage and slavery. I have come to set you free. Allow me to lead you into paradise and to guide you out of Babylon, onto the path towards my holy mountain. I am cleansing my people. Come and receive my healing power that will remove you out of sin and dependency on worldly matters. Focus on my heavenly kingdom and forsake worldly honors. Accept the sacrifice of my son Jesus and trust me as my saints of old. I will clean you from your sins and will clothe you in fine white linen. I am cleansing my people. Get ready for my healing powers to be poured out onto the nations and receive my spirit who will guide you on all your ways. This was the daily prophetic word for the 29th of May 2019 given by the Holy Spirit. Now let me see if I can bring you to Bring you to the timeline. Yeah, here we are. This is the timeline, it's either June to July or July to August 2019. <clears throat> and that depends, as I explained yesterday, on the new moon that must be on the fourth day of the starting months. And this is happening on June and July according to the Torah calendar. So then we have the following timeline. On the fourth day of the six months in June or July, heaven will open. A trumpet voice will call for us, as we have seen in Revelation 4, 1 to 4. Then on the 6th of June, we have the start of Passover to heaven. No yeast, no sins, we are in Passover time. Not the Passover that we celebrate on earth, the Passover to heaven. It's like crossing Jordan, it's like going forward to the heavenly realm. As John was passed over heaven and has seen all the different types in Revelation 4, 6 to 13. Then on the 7th, John will tend to us. This is in the ordinance of the special Jewish day when somebody steps into power. And this is John now. John is now in heaven. And this is for us too. This is a very important day. The 7th of June or 7th of July. John will tend to us. And on the 8th of June, it all has begun. The final has now begun. The old has passed. This is either the 8th of June or the 8th of July. On the 9th of June, I have seen hands washing feet. This is Jesus' is worthy to open the scroll. And, and also the Father is worthy and we give him honor and glory. This is Revelation 5, 9 and 4, 9. On the 11th of June, it's far reaching. We see in Revelation 4, 11, that the power and glory of God is everywhere and it will reach everywhere. It is also a pattern of Jesus going into the grave and now being in death and Hades and having the key there and reaching very far everywhere because he is preparing the dead to rise. You are worthy, is Revelation 4, 11. And on the 13th of June or July, we have the dead rising. 
This is Revelation 5.13, going to the 17th of July. Revelation 5.13, in heaven, on earth, under the earth, and in the sea. <clears throat> this is a clear reference to the dead rising. And this will be done definitely until the 17th of July. And this will also take part in the escape and rapture of the bride. It won't go beyond that. So no matter if we start in June to July or we start from July to August. By 17th of July, all is done. Because on the 17th of July, also Elijah is coming. The spirit of Elijah will be poured out onto the nations. And a new movement will start now. Because something has to start now for the remnant, for the people who are not being part of the bride, who are not being part in the escape. These people need leadership. These people need a spirit that will help them to find their way to Mount Zion. And on the 21st of June, Jesus is now in his position. He is a fortress. He is the one that has collected his bride into his place. And on the 22nd of June, everything is done. All is done and complete. The rapture is done. This can also be July. The rapture is done. The, the collection of the bride is done. The new spirit of Elijah is poured out onto the nation. The first seal will be opened. This is on that time. Because from the 3rd of June or 3rd of July onwards, judgments and seals are starting. 26th of June, we see the little boys are from me. This is the first seal is already opened. And there are two little boys. Pattern to the raven and dove released by Noah on the ark. The raven stands for the dark one, the man of sin. And the dove stands for his opponent, the righteous spirit of Elijah that's poured out into the world. There we see the first seal. People were always discussing, oh, this is the Antichrist and this is not the Antichrist because it's a white rider and what, because every thing is true. Both are true. There is a raven and a dove released. Something dark and something white. And then on the 27th, there is some special day. To this I will come and to the rest I will come tomorrow. I will discuss it further tomorrow. But for now you will see <coughs> the timeline. So where I have 6 and 7, it could also be 7 and 8. Do not forget that. But here you have a guideline what will happen shortly. And it's very, very important that from the 6th of June to the 13th of June, or if that is not the time period, then from the 6th of July to the 13th of July, please stay with the Lord. No sin. Do not start to bigger. Do not do anything bad. This is your Passover to heaven, your preparation for your taking. So please pray. Listen to the dreams and visions you have. Listen to the Spirit at this time. I thank you that you were here with me for the daily prophetic word and the timeline. And I will see you again tomorrow for the next message that the Holy Spirit will give us. My name is Michael. And may God bless you and your family abundantly. Maranatha.